She went to a soccer game and then left with a broken arm. That's what happened to one woman last night at TQL Stadium during the United States men's national team's match against New Zealand. In a story you'll only see on WLWT, Danielle Dendak spoke with the mega soccer fan who says she isn't letting her injury sideline her. Hey there, Danielle. Yeah, Chris, I could tell you that many people walked away from last night's game saying that's one they want to forget, except for one woman. She walked away from that game with one heck of a story and a cast to go with it. The U.S. men's national team versus New Zealand nearing the 27th minute last night. That's Hachi Wright. Time and space for Hachi Wright as he lets it fly. Here's the kicker. Look closely, this time from another angle. That rocket from Hadji Wright went right into the stands. I knew he wanted to rip the shot. That shot was ripped all right. Just ask Kelly Fisher. I stuck my arm out, was not expecting it to be, you know, that that hard and that fast. But, I mean, they are professionals, so. <laughs> Kelly still can't believe the souvenir she walked away with, courtesy of her favorite team. USA! She's traveled around the nation to see them play, like here in Vegas. She's with her friend, Ryan Shire, who got her hooked. For better or for worse, U.S. soccer fans were a different breed uh, through thick or thin. Kelly was the embodiment of those words on Tuesday. She traveled here from Toledo for the match, Ryan from Florida. Then halfway through the match came the friendly fire. I just kind of looked at my mom and I like, I kind of like whispered under my breath, like, I think my arm's broken. Turns out doctors say she was right. So it, it is broken is what they told me in the ER. Cast or no cast, she'll be out in the in the stands rooting on the men. Sidelined, but this proud American is locked in on her team in red, white, and blue. I was sitting in the emergency room. I was still watching it on my phone because I didn't want to miss the game. So a little fun fact, after this happened, she was taken to the first aid over at TQL Stadium. They wrapped it up for her, and then Kelly went on to say, well, let me go back in and finish this game out. But of course, she, they did send her over to the hospital. But as you can imagine, Kelly will be back at that next match with pride. Reporting live, Danielle Tindak, WLWT News 5.